Let's go through the Google Cloud Shell and use infrastructure as code with Terraform to launch a virtual machine. First, I'll activate the Google Cloud Shell. This will allow me to build solutions interactively using the Bash Shell. First up, I'll create a uh, Terraform command just to double check that it's installed. Right, This is always a good idea. And we can see that it's installed. You can see all the different options. Next up, uh, what I'll do is I'll create an empty file called instance.tf that will store my configuration that will launch a virtual machine. Now, I'm going to use the editor here, so I'm going to say open editor. Uh, and then this will actually let me edit in a GUI environment. So this might be more helpful for people that don't have a lot of experience with a command line tool. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Here's instance.tf. And what's nice is you can see that this editor is also recognizes that it's a Terraform file. So it's got good support for it. So I'm going to copy the uh, configuration data. I'll put it in here. And notice that the only thing I'm going to need to do is put in my project ID inside of this uh, section. I can get it by going up into the project ID section and grabbing it out of here. Great. Copy that, and I'll just paste this inside of this project ID. Perfect. Now that I've got this uh, project ID set up, let's go through this configuration. So first, I call this uh, Terraform. Right, that's the name of the virtual machine. The machine type I'm going to select is uh, N1 Standard 1. And this is the zone where this is the place inside of the Google Cloud. So the central part of the United States that I'm going to launch it. And then I tell it as well what image I want to run. So I'll tell it to run Debian 9. And then I have a default network configuration. So again, what's great about a infrastructure as code type configuration is that it's all defined, it's declared inside. And if I check this later into a source control repository, other people can look at it and see exactly what's going to happen. So great, this looks like it works. So let's go through here and um, uh, save this out. So I'm going to say file, save, perfect. And then I'll go ahead and uh, go to the terminal. Now that I've got the terminal open here, uh, what I can do is do terraform init. So I'll type in terraform init. Great, and so what this is gonna do is in the background, uh, make sure that I've got everything I need for Google to, to go through and run uh, the infrastructure as code steps. Great, you can see here that it downloaded the latest provider, which is the Google provider. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is plan. And this is a way of verifying that things will go the way I hope they go when I actually do the deployment. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's type in Terraform plan. All right. And you can notice here that it goes through and it tells me all the different things that it's going to do. So Terraform will perform the following actions. You know, it tells me all the different configuration options, all the things with the boot disk, right? So it's pretty much ready to go. And if I want to, uh, I'm, I can now go ahead and apply that change. So make the infrastructure work. So to do that, I'll type in Terraform apply, Terraform. And a lot of times if you auto complete, it's a great way to make sure you don't make a typo. And let's go ahead and do Terraform apply. And this, this actually goes through and performs these steps. So it's gonna ask us a question, you know, do you want to do these steps or not? And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and say um, yes to approve it. Perfect. And it's going to ask me to authorize this call. And then behind the scenes now, it's going to go through and create that resource via the API on my behalf. And that's, again, one of the great things about infrastructure as code is how useful it is in terms of simplifying the deployment process and making it repeatable. This will typically take a few minutes for the virtual machine to be available. So we'll wait a second and see what happens. Great, it's already available. Uh, you can see that it's complete. So how would I find this uh, virtual machine? Well, we could go back here and uh, find this virtual machine uh, inside using the uh, instances. So to find this virtual machine, we could go to the dashboard and look at the compute instance resources. Here we go, compute engine. And there it is. The virtual machine is uh, running. Uh, this is exactly what we told it to do. 
uh, it says uh, Terraform is the name. Here's the zone it's in. Here's the IP address. And if I wanted to, I could also go through here and uh, connect via um, a browser window and SSH into it and, and do whatever work I needed to do. There we go. You can see here that um, everything was able to launch correctly. So in a nutshell, Terraform is a uh, item potent way to launch and configure resources. And this is just the tip of the iceberg about what you can do with Terraform.